It's given two points, 2, 4, and minus 4 and 8. We want to calculate the slope. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we need to label these points. If I assume the first point is point 1, which is 2 and 4, so this number here would be x1, and this number here would be y1. And then if I assume the second point is point 2, then the first number here would be x2, and this number here would be y2. Yes, all I have to do is just substitute these numbers here. Uh, y2 would be equal to 8, which is equal to 4 over minus 6. And when we reduce this, that would become 2 over minus 3, or minus 2 third. The next part is uh, write the equation. Now, every time it says write the equation of the line, find the two formulas that we can we can use. We can always use slope intercept formula, which is that's the easier one to use. Y is equal to mx plus b. In this case, what we need to do is to pick one of these points and uh, call it point P. Uh, doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick the first point and I'm going to call this point P. And when I do that, when I label this this way, then this would refer to point X. This would refer, refer to point Y. Just like before, when I, when I call this same point, point 1, then the first number in the order pair correspond to X1. The second number correspond to Y1. In this case, because I'm call, calling this point P, the first number in the order pair would correspond to x, and the second one correspond to y. Now, I already know my slope is minus 2 third, so all I have to do is just substitute here and solve for b, which is the y-intercept. Now, y, in this case, would be equal to 4. The slope is minus 2 third. x is 2 plus b. This would be minus 4 over 3 plus 2. Solve for b, you just have to add 4 third to both sides of the equation. Then I would get 4 or 4 over 1 plus 4 third is equal to b. Now the LCD is 3, so I have to multiply this by 3 over 3. So that would be 16 over 3. You can go back and uh, write down y is equal to mx plus b and write the equation of the line. Remember, the slope is negative 2 third. And then now we know the y-intercept, which is 16 over 3, plus 16 over 3. This is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Now, now we have the equation, then we can find the x and y-intercept. To find the x and y-intercept, you need to let x be equal to 0, so solve for y, and y is equal to 0, solve for x. If you let x be equal to 0, obviously the y-intercept would be 16 over 3. And if you let y be equal to 0 and solve for x, you need to let y is equal to 0, so we have 0 is equal to negative 2 third x plus 16 over 3. Easy way to do this is just multiply them by 3 to get an equation without those fractions. So we have 0 is equal to minus 2x uh, plus 16. So if I uh, solve this, 16 goes to the other side, minus 16 is equal to negative 2x, so x must be equal to negative 16 over negative 2, which is plus 8. And graphing that should be pretty simple, so all you do is just find a couple of points, and then you would graph them. So let's go over what Jeff is saying, that's because that's interesting. He's saying he used a different formula. The formula that uh, I believe he is referring to is a point-slope formula. If you let's take a look at the formula. The formula says y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. 
that is the formula that Jeff used. The one we used was y is equal to mx plus b. With this, we solve for b and use the one point for x and y and use the slope information we solve for b in one step. Now, if you use a point slope formula, then you have to use uh, one of those points as, and we have to call it point one. We can pick the first point that was given to us uh, there as uh, uh, two and four, I believe. Yeah, two and four. If I use this, these point as point one, then x one would be two, and y one would be 4. And the slope already is uh, given to us as minus 2 third. OK, and the rest, we just have to call it x and y. And then we have to simplify this. If you simplify this, you will get the same exact answer as we did uh, uh, we got before, which is uh, either way you do it, you get y is equal to minus two third x plus sixteen over three. You get the exact same thing. Except here you have to go through the algebra. You have to distribute here and uh, add four to both of the equation to get to this point.